Okay, this is uh, this is a, this is a Taiwan money. We call new Taiwan dollars. Okay, this is the person. This is Doctor Sun Yat-sen. This is the same person uh, as the statue. Okay, so in the superficial level, the first meaning of the Doctor Sun Yat-sen in the film that represents money, because all these boys who are lack of money, they desperately need some money to solve their problems. So they find Dr. Sen Yasen uh, as a statue, and however, they can uh, exchange the statue for some money, so their, so their problems can be solved. Okay, that's the first meaning. But on the deeper side, on the second level, uh, Dr. Sen Yasen, uh, all the people in Taiwan, and, and also in China and in Hong Kong, uh, think him as the founding father of, uh, of the new China. Uh, because like a hundred years ago, he overthrew the Qing dynasty, he over overthrew the emperor, and, uh, and started the first republic country in Asia. And so we always think him as, uh, regard him as the founding father of the new China. Uh, especially people in Taiwan, and um, so wh when we th when we think back, uh, like hundreds of years ago, like uh, Doctor Sun Yat-sen was a young guy. He was a socialist. He wrote uh, a lot of books about social inequality. Uh, he demands social change, and uh, he started the revolution. So in the deeper meaning, Dr. Sun Yat-sen represents the idea of change of the society. So in this film, Dr. Sun Yat-sen exactly are two things. First, it is money. And then the statue means revolution and a change in the society. Uh, when the society has some problems, we, we demand change. Yeah. The, the problem is, okay, in Taiwan, because, um, you know, because like maybe in 50, 100 years ago, and uh, when we are poor, and our parents always, always tell us, okay, study harder, have a better job, and uh, move up in a society, okay, you can have a better life, or things like that. Uh, it was true. It was somewhat true. But nowadays in Taiwan, and it was not true anymore, only because um, uh, nowadays in Taiwan, people start to make money out of money, not out of their own abilities. Uh, so if you don't have money to start with, uh, it's really, really, really difficult for you to change your social status. Uh, not to change, not not only uh, your social status, but uh, the social status of your children, of your grandchildren. So being poor becomes kind of like a destiny for not only for you, but for all your offsprings. Uh, I think the situation in Taiwan is getting worse and worse. Okay, the gap between the rich and the poor uh, are widened. Uh, the distance between two classes uh, becomes greater and greater. And uh, so to quite a few youngsters in Taiwan, they just feel hopeless. They don't find any hopes to change their destiny in the society. So this film uh, is sort of dress, is addressing this issue directly to the teenage boys. Okay, they have to realize uh, the problem for them to be poor is not because of uh, they are being lazy or they are being stupid, but probably because, because um, there's something wrong with the social system. Uh, revolution uh, needs a lot of courage, uh, needs a lot of sacrifices.
to start a revolution. I wouldn't say revolution. Um, I would use the word change. Okay, whether it's a revolution is a change. Okay, or some other forms of of change. You know it, but uh, if you find a problem, if you ha are having a problem, you you'd better demand the change. And I think uh, moving up is okay. Moving up from one class to the other that brings hope to everybody. If you find you cannot moving up, not only for you but for your children, and that's a society without hopes. I think that's that's poverty. I think that's poverty. I think,、um, of course,、uh, I believe in economic freedom, but、uh, this, a society、um, needs economic freedom. But, however, I also think the society needs equality. Okay, so、uh, there's nothing wrong with the freedom, economic freedom, or anything like that. But if you put too much emphasis on the freedom itself and forget about the equality. There's going to be problem. I think a society is balanced. It's balanced. This balance usually doesn't come from the politicians, because they are the establishment. They are the people who get the benefits. So、uh, they usually don't ask for change. So I think this demand usually comes from the general people, from the people who are in the lower class. So this film, in a way,、um, hopefully can can bring the awareness to the dis disadvantaged or lower class、uh, teenage boys, and、uh, it's time. To demand this change, don't wait for the politician to give them charity. The charity will never come. Yeah,、uh, actually, I I didn't write.、Uh, I didn't realize、uh, that's the that's the time when they are united together. I didn't realize. I was just writing it because it was fun.、Uh, I the. I approached that sequence, that writing,、uh, purely as a, a plot.、Uh, I don't have any symbolism or or image of unification of the lower class. This kind of、uh, ideology behind it. I just write it as plot. However, when I saw the final picture myself. I suddenly realized that's the time when they are united together, and、uh, they are moving Dr. Senya Sen. And、uh, I would say, well, I that, I would say it's、uh, quite a accident for me. I didn't expect that. It was out of my calculation.、Uh, so, but however, it's a nice accident. It's a nice surprise. Yeah,、um, I I was glad that、uh, it turned out the image、uh, boys united together carrying the the statue of Dr. Senya Sen、uh, can have uh, can have uh, symbolic meaning than the than the image itself. Uh, that that was also a surprise for me, because I'm one of the investors. Okay, and、uh, I I got, for example, okay, all the main characters, okay, like 80 percent of the actors in the film are first timers. They haven't done anything. Usually in a, in a movie in Taiwan, it, this kind of situation is impossible, because. Uh, newcomers, uh, new actors, means、uh, no box office because no audience recognizes them. So it doesn't really have a, a, a fan base.
Okay. But however, I'm the, one of the investors, so I I can insist on using them. And the, the reason for me, um, because I need that kind of freshness of teenage. Uh, if I, if I use a well trained, experienced actors, I don't think um, the actors can. Of course, the actors can play a lot of characters. Okay, a good actors can do this and can do that. However, usually actors, even the good actors, they lose their sense of um, a sense of being naive. Uh, I think uh, being naive is part of uh, youth, is part of teenage. I really cherish that sense of uh, being naive. And so I, based on this, based on, I want them to be very naive about what they are. So, so I insist on using the newcomers, the first timers. Yeah, I didn't tell them in the first place, and uh, I just. Uh, them to uh, be themselves and uh, really pay attention to achieving uh, their goals, uh, which is to steal the statue. And uh, I sort of let them to let them think uh, this is a competition between the two groups. Uh, I didn't tell them the ideology, the the meaning, the deeper meaning of the film until very late, until halfway through the film. Then I started to tell them. Um, they, okay, they, they were only like 14, 15. Okay, I think they don't really understand it, even I tell them. And uh, some kids uh, f from the film, are from the poor families, okay, they, their situation are not that great. They can understand better. But, uh, but for those actors from, from the middle class or from the upper class, um, they sort of understand it but cannot relate to it. Uh, they they have uh, distance toward the problem, so that all depends. Yeah, some of the kids from the poor family they can really relate it, relate to it, and respond it, and understand it. And some kids just are very confused what I was talking about. I think that's how we are. And the people repeat themselves, uh, especially when we were teenage boys. Uh, we repeat the same question, repeat the same answers, repeat what we do every day. I think repetition is a big part of our lives. Our lives are not like Hollywood films. Our lives don't have switches. You turn on, you turn off. You turn on, you suddenly change into a different person. The world changes into a different world because you change. This kind of situation don't really happen in our daily lives. I think we repeat ourselves many, many times. And in every repetition, we make some minor changes. And then gradually, we evolve into something completely different. So I want this kind of sense of reality in the structure of the film. So I use repetition uh, a little bit too drastically uh, in, in the film. And, um, and secondly, and uh, one of my favorite uh, uh, choreographer, dancer choreographer is Pina Bosch from Germany. And in her work, I observed uh, the power of repetition because a lot of her works, her dance works, is repetition itself. And however, in the repetition, she makes some minor changes every time. And eventually it reaches 
the great power. Uh, I sort of want to have this kind of effect. Uh, so I borrow her repetitive repetition structure uh, from her dance to put in this film. So I would say that it came from the repetition in the film came from two different sources. Sources. The first one is the observation of our daily life, and the second one might be Pina Bosch. Yeah. He didn't overthrow the Qing dynasty the first time. He repeated himself 11 times before he finally made it. So every time it's the same thing, he repeats himself again and again and again until the 11th time. So it's a long process. Yeah. Uh, I'm making an animation feature right now. Okay, I've been doing it for the past two years and uh, it's called City of Lost Things. It's about a group of garbages. Okay, one of the leading characters in the film is a plastic bag. So it's, I would say it's an a adventure story about, once again, a teenage boy and a plastic bag. And uh, hopefully it can be done in a year or two. And uh, we have about 30-40% done already. Hopefully we can get the rest of it done uh, in the next 15 months. Yeah.